a long season than it was and a miraculous season, but it happened in the Mountain West Championships. Let's start early with Utah State. You get the win over the team that knocked you out last season. Yeah, that was kind of bittersweet, kind of what we call a revenge tour, so part of the revenge tournament. So obviously it was great to beat them, though. Anytime you can have a conference win and, and work yourself into the semifinals and the fact that, you know, basically they dominated to be in the semifinals was pretty huge. Yeah. Semifinals two out of the last three years, actually. But uh, talk to us about San Diego State. You know, they, they played well. We came out on fire in the doubles, won the doubles point. We won the doubles point 23 of 25 matches, which is that's probably, you know, 92% of the time. That's a record that's going to be tough to beat again. Um, but played great doubles. Uh, TJ Fumagalli won in straight sets against the rookie of the year, or, fre or should I say freshman of the year in the Mountain West. So that was a, a great dominant win, and we just came up a few couple sets short. So – Let's look at the bright side of the season. An amazing season for you. You don't get anyone to go to the NCAAs, unfortunately. However, 22 wins is a new Division I record for Air Force, and so many great things happen. Yeah, it was. Anytime you can beat a, you know, we beat a Big Ten opponent at their home. It was nationally ranked in the top 40. We beat a Pac-12. Uh, we beat a Big East. And then, obviously, to beat Army, and you know, when they gave out 2,000 tickets in that venue um, and to be on TV, that's a pretty awesome season yeah it certainly is so where do you go from here I know that maybe there's a, a renewed hunger after the loss in the semis yeah I think we're definitely going to be motivated um I think about the, this season was uh you know they they set some goals they got there and they're like oh my goodness we could actually achieve more and they want it more which is exactly what you would want as a coach so I think kind of starting off even having a few a little bigger goals for next season and having been there and uh, obviously anytime you can make the semifinals of your conference tournament is great particularly in the Mountain West for women so the fact that we did it um, you know as opposed to two years ago it was like we won the tournament to get there so you know it's obviously steps and so I think this group going into the uh, next season will have some big goals. But let's look back. You, you won the Bedford Cup uh, first time ever. You, you had this huge, long winning streak. You have players that are breaking records that are unheard of. So you've got to be feeling good with the program right now. Yeah, well, definitely. Um, we, we won an ITA regional event with uh, Fumagalli and Kerrigan. And, uh, you know, Kerrigan was all conference as a freshman. So the only other one to do that was TJ. So the fact that we're carrying this in a row and that tradition, um, you know, next year I think, you know, they're going to look to, hey, can we win the ITA regionals in singles and doubles? And that's going to be a goal. And I think we could, you know, we looked at Kansas and we were uh, our, our number three team was up and they were nationally ranked. So, you know, one of our goals is our doubles was so deep and they were so strong in all three positions is, you know, hey, can we have three nationally ranked teams? You know, let's just not settle for one. Let's see if we can get two. And then if, if we're really good, we can get three. So nice to hear the positivity and looking forward to making things even better next season. Thanks, Kim, for the time. Yeah, we're ready to get back after it. Go Blue.